now, this is when it gets crazy, crazy, crazy. I almost forgot this. Holy shit. This is the worst part. After he does all that, I wake up in the middle of the night and there's a bunch of doctors around me. Like two doctors on the side and one on the top of my head. And he goes, hey. And that's why I go, hey doc, what's up? And I'd seen the doctors before, but I never said it. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. He was always distracting me. Jello. So I couldn't really understand what was going on. So I started talking to this doctor. And he goes, oh, we're taking some things. We're taking the bad things out of your head. And I go, what do you mean bad things? Right? And he goes, and so I'm looking at him. I'm looking at his needles inside my head. And he's, he's got this big microscope fucking thing on his eyeball. He's got a mask on. He's got a thing on. And I go, I go, how come you wear a mask and all that? And he goes, to represent I'm a doctor. And I'm like, really? And he goes, yep. So you know I'm a doctor. And everybody else knows I'm a doctor. And I go, if you spit in my fucking brain right now, is it going to affect me? And he goes, yep. And I'm like, really? He said, yep. And I go, this is too much to explain. I got a lot of work to do, so shut up. I'm like, okay. <laughs> you know, fuck me. You know, I go, I, I, I go, look, man. Whatever comes out of my head, I have no way of pissing you off, okay? Please don't fucking smash my brains. <laughs> he goes, he goes, he goes, son, there's no chance in hell I'll smash your brains in. He goes, I'm of Christ. He goes, we don't do that here. And he goes, you're a Christian. It ain't never going to happen. We're helping you out. And I'm like, he goes, you can, he goes, you can yell at me and call me every single name in the book until you pass out and I'm still going to love you and I'm still going to take care of you and I'm like thank you <laughs> thank you please don't fucking wrap my brain thank you thank you and I'm like oh that's nice because you know you know he's a fucking doctor he's pulled my skin back and now he's digging around in my brain so I go okay well what are you doing All right? and so I'm just watching him and he's, he's doing his thing and there's fucking lights it's like fucking brain surgery and he goes in, he pulls back, pulls back the brain, he reaches in, and he goes, look at this, look at this. And I'm like, what do you got? And he reaches in with some kind of little tweezers, and he pulls out this long black thing. Okay? He pulls out a long black thing, like a hair. And he's going, and he's pulling it out, and then he puts it in a container and seals it. Right? And I'm like, holy shit, what is that? And it's wiggling around in there, right? And he goes, it's pissed off because we just pulled it up. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? What is that? A worm? Like a fucking tapeworm or something? He goes, no. That's that's anger and rage built up. And I'm like, what are you talking about anger and rage? He goes, well, somewhere along the line, he goes, somewhere along the line when you were a kid, something happened to you that pissed you off. And instead of dealing with it with Christ... You boxed it in your head. He goes, you put it in the back of your mind. And you never talked about it. And you never released it in the proper manner. And he goes, he goes, this. This is about 30 years old. And he goes, and he said, he goes, every issue that pissed you off about the same subject. So let's say this was a fight you were in. And you got hurt. And you buried it in the back of your head. Well, every time you were confronted with that issue, the anger and rage would come out, but you had no way to vent it. So you buried the issue back in your head. And it happened so many times, it created this. And it's a manifestation of your built-up rage. And I go, well, is that going to screw my brain in? He goes, yep. He goes, that's exactly what it does. And I'm like, no shit. And he goes, well, look at this. So he, he looked, I look back at my brain and he showed me. And he see all them black dots? They're all coming out tonight. And there's like fucking 30 of them. <laughs> and he goes, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I got to look for them and pull them out. So please don't move. <laughs> I'm like, nope, I ain't moving. I ain't moving. <laughs> right? And so he's pulling all these fucking things out. Puts it in the container. Pulls another one out. Puts the container. 
And I go, I go, is that bad? Is that bad? Like, is that a lot? And he goes, hell no, that's nothing. He goes, there are people out there that have so much, you can't even believe it. He goes, I sit there for fucking days, and then somebody else has to come in to give me, to relieve me of their fucking, of the work, because I'm losing it. And another person comes in and starts doing it. So it's just a shift and shift and shift, like... I go, how many hours do you work? He goes, I don't know. I just do it till I get tired. Then another person takes over. And I'm like, God damn. I go, and he goes, this, all these things will make you fucking nuts out of your mind. And I'm like, wow. That's, he goes, the people that go crazy and sociopaths and stuff that go crazy. This is the stuff that makes them go crazy. These are the things that make them go crazy. So, and it's usually from abuse. Now, what's supposed to happen when you're in Christ consciousness and you're working with Christ in Christ consciousness, these things never have a chance to build up because you and Christ deal with it as it happens. So when you're a little kid and you're playing in the backyard and somebody, your dad comes out and kicks you in the fucking head for no reason at all, all that anger and rage that's built up in the back of your head keeps growing for the rest of your life every time you have that issue and I'm like yeah 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 and he goes this is what it is but people got some people got so many fucking issues they just and these things are popping out their energy releases and they consume the brain and the fucking brain just fucking goes haywire and he goes so that's why I'm here pulling them out of you to clean your fucking brain out and I'm like Wow. And he goes, oh, it gets worse than that. I'm like, what are you talking about? And he goes, well, he goes, demons feed off these fucking things. So if you have a connection to a demon, like sex, drugs, sex, drugs, alcohol, demons, these little black things are alcoholism, are sex abuse, alcohol abuse, tobacco abuse. All your drugs are these little black things too, Okay. And he goes, the demons know you're an alcoholic, and the fucking smart demons, they know these things are in here. They learn that these things are in here, and they trigger it. And I go, how do they know it's there? Because he goes, when they're in you, they can see it, and they find it, and they trigger these things in the back of your mind. And so you're like walking down the street, and the demon's in you, but you don't know the demon's in you. And all of a sudden, the demon wants you to do something, or the entity, he goes, there's entities that do it too, and, but he goes, I'm just calling them demons for the lack, for the sake of fucking conversation, I'm like, yeah, I get, I get what you're saying, and he goes, the fucking demon, the person, the demon, the entity, goes, ding, ding, and he triggers it, ding, 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 and he gets you that, and he has that reaction of that, it's like a guitar string, but when he guitar strings it, it releases chemicals into the brain and into the body that need a fix of alcohol. And I'm like, get the fuck out of here. And he goes, nope. And then you run and buy alcohol and you feed the demon. And he goes, that's how it's done. And that's how they control you eventually. It can get so bad that they can control you like that. And I'm like, holy fuck, are you serious? And he goes, nope. That's exactly what happened. Wow. And it was unbelievable, man, this conversation I had with this guy. Just unbelievable. And he's literally opened up my brain and just pulling these fucking things out. And I'm like, well, if I could help you. And he goes, no, you just sit there and shut up and I'll do it. And I'm like, well, you got it. Pull them fucking things out. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he went on to tell me stuff like that. How they, the demon, and then when some, once the spirit or the entity or the demon, whatever it is, he goes, they can play you like a fucking musical instrument. Whatever they want you to do. Left, right, center, alcohol tonight, pot the next night, cocaine, heroin, ding, 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 ding. And they want you to kill that guy over there. Ding, 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 ding. They, remember your dad kicking you in the face? Remember your dad kicking you in the face? Remember the dad raping you? Remember your dad raping you? That's what these little chords are saying. And it floods your mind, and all of a sudden the energy builds up inside you. The fucking chemicals in your brain react, and you just lose it. 
you start seeing, you start hearing voices, kill a fucker, kill a fucker. He's chanting that in your head, reinforcing the strings, and you just lose it and you kill somebody. And that's how they do it. I don't like that happens every day on the news. And he goes, Yep. And he goes, We can only help the Christians. <laughs> If you're not a Christian, we ain't helping you. See ya. I'm like, are you shitting me? And he's like, nope. He's like, he goes, you got to become a Christian. And you have to go through all this stuff that you're going through right now. Because you became a Christian. A full-fledged Christian. And now we can help you get rid of all this stuff. And I'm like, holy fuck. And I go, there's people running around out there well, worse than I got. And they're not Christians. And they're going to go nuts. And he goes, yep. I'm like. And he goes, I can get in, I can talk to you about for hours about the complexity of it all, but I gotta do this. And I'm like, you know, do your thing now. Thank you, bless you. <laughs> bless you, bless you, bless you. Bless you. And, he's, and then we started telling jokes, and he's telling me some stuff about him. And he was, I, this is what I wanted. This is what I fucking wanted, you know, healing. He's pulling shit out of my head. And I'm like, yes, finally, no more fucking drama. Just fucking get on with it. A fucking actual scientist that's smart, a doctor that's smart, and he's a Christian. The boot pulling this shit out of my fucking head. I'm like, this is what I've been asking for. I'm like, fucking finally, I'm on the right track. Fucking two years of fucking crazy archon bullshit. Fucking gone. I'm being fucking healed and taking care of this stuff. Awesome. It was really awesome. And so now you got a little bit of a lesson to avoid goes on inside your head of why people react the way they do. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable stuff. So, the doctor did that night after night until he got all them things out of my head. Then, they started healing me. But my head, and all of a sudden, the doctor, he's still around, but as he's cutting the skins, I'm bleeding this stuff. Right? I'm bleeding. And then the doctor, all of a sudden, the doctor sees it. <coughs> and the doctor sees it I, I mentioned this in another video but the doctor was gone yeah and it was just me and Jello and I'm all bandaged up sewn up together and oh how does it work Jello he sees it right and I go hey there's something leaking out of my skin here and it was like my skin was melting but and he went, oh, fuck, and he goes, oh, like that, and he fucking ran away. <laughs> you can hear him run upstairs to heaven or whatever he's doing. And then he comes back. <laughs> and he's got this mask on, and the doctors are coming, and they're all fucking <laughs> scraping this stuff off my skin, scraping it all up, making sure, dabbing, dabbing it, putting it all in their thing. And I go, what's that? And he's like, oh, we're making the drugs out of it. At the essence, and he never told me anything about my nuts. I learned that later. But he goes, we take this stuff and we make uh, drugs out of it to help people. And I'm like, really? He goes, yep. And he goes, you don't want the fucking demons to get a hold of this. The demons love this stuff. They actually cut you and punch you over and over and over and try to make make this stuff come out so you can they can use it. And they love it. And they use it in the spirit. The, the, the archons, I call them archons, the real smart non-entities, the, the real smart entities, but not the spark of the light, they use it too for their evil purposes. Satanists use it. Satanists use it. This is on the astral plane, by the way, okay? Satanists in the astral plane, the archons in the astral plane, in the astral world. Doctors don't even accept this shit. I mean, maybe the Satanists know about it in reality. And the fucking Illuminati. But the doctors, they don't know about this stuff. They don't even accept the soul or the spirit world. So, what do you do, right? So, yeah, I remember he, and he ran away and I laughed. And then he came back and he's getting this stuff off my face. And it's leaking out so bad. Like a lot of it. And then he had to call other doctors to help come and get it. To put this stuff up. 
anyway, yeah, that was some, some crazy stuff. So I'm going to cut this video now. And then I'm going to load them up, hopefully, before the hockey game starts. And um, we'll continue from Jello, almost the ending of Jello Biafra. All right.